Welcome to PTI's Quality Lab. Today we're going to demonstrate the use of our tools in order to measure the taper bore of a drive component. This would be a taper bushing in a component and we would measure that before it goes into inventory. Our ISO 9001 program requires that we check all these components prior to selling them. And in our lab we keep a lot of tools and gauges in order to qualify the products better than calipers, it removes the human error, so to speak, and the tools are calibrated, gauged, so we track those and make sure that each of the, the qualifications match so we get perfect quality parts during inspection. So three different tools are used to measure the taper bore in a drive component. This is a taper depth gauge, it'll measure the depth of the taper, how deep is that angle that fits into the bore and we want it so the bushing will sit basically flush when it's installed so that would measure the depth of the angle. The second is a tool that will measure the taper angle itself. Very important to make sure that enough mating surfaces between the sprocket and the taper bushing engage so it stays tight when tightened to the shaft. And the third is a gauge that helps us identify the whole locations where the screws are used in order to install the bushing. So we'll go through each of these three here in just a moment. So the first gauge measures the taper depth in the product. So this particular gauge has a step. It's sort of a go and no go. So the step will actually tell us if the depth is right. So the step, as you can see here, is below the top of the sprocket and the height of this gauge is proud, so it's above the sprocket. So that would give you an idea if it fits within that step, it's an accepted product. Gauges allow us to check many products very quickly without the human effect. So no measurements by hand, by caliper, by ruler. It's a gauge that's certified and then qualified every several years as we would keep these in our ISO program. So I just checked every one of these during the, the process and they all checked and fell within this step which is the go and no go. The second measurement is using a taper angle gauge. So this will measure the angle that the taper has been machined into the drive component, sprocket in this case. So I have a ring setting gauge that will allow to set the gauge calibration in the beginning. And I would set the gauge to zero, so any measurement that falls in between the two red lines is going to be an accepted product. So again, taking one setting, uh, one set, I can measure three components or many very quick and I can find that that was accepted because it hit between the two red lines again and the third one and again within the, the red parameter so all product would be acceptable for the tapered angle. The third dimensional check is one we call measurement of the hole location or the location of the installation holes for a taper bushing. So this gauge has a uh, a locating uh, pin which allows us to slip it into position and there's two thread gauges that are used with the gauge and if they thread into the holes as it would be the set screw installing the bushing for instance then the location of the holes is correct and it would actually match then the holes that's used for a bushing that would be used. So now I know that when installing the bushing in the proper location, the two set screws that would be used to install location of the holes would be correct. So those three checks are important in order to ensure the quality under our ISO 9001 program. <laughs> 